hello everyone my name is nilesh trivedi and i'm very happy to talk about my open source project called learnawesome.org i'll take you through the, the sort of a journey uh, of the problem statement how i iterated on this and you know how it came about uh, and what are some of the directions that it can go into i'll show you a demo of learn awesome um so essentially this is what it looks now uh, there is a hierarchy of topics and that's that top that this question uh, how to organize knowledge should it be a hierarchy or should be something else it's a deep question right but for now it's a hierarchy um, so yeah you can arrange things uh, uh, in, a, in a hierarchy you know uh, under engineering you will have you know biomedical and electrical and under you know science you'll have astronomy chemistry again it this it's philosophically very interesting right but for now this works right so you can navigate via topics and then you can discover resources for that topic so right now i'm under mathematics and these are all the formats that we support right so there are books audio articles uh, cheat sheets courses uh, games yeah meetups that you can find uh, research and websites you can right so a lot of this is hand curated right manually uh, painstakingly i've added these links and you know metadata around it and the reason for that was any sort of a um, automated that uh, if you if you automatically crawl the web and then in populate this uh, database your quality goes for a toss right the whole part the whole value is in curation right which ones are really worth it um, so there's a topic based hierarchy the same hierarchy can be navigated uh, sort of a, as a zoomable tree map so yeah you can go to you know, health and you can discover all the sort of um, subtopics right or you can go to nutrition and then you realize okay it's a micro intensive topic and then you can discover a course about that right uh of course there are multiple formats uh, that uh, um, items are organized as in so so you know uh, books or do as i said there's a big list uh, and it's important because as i said people have constraints on the formats uh, but they want the the best ideas right so yeah that's where this uh, aspect comes in you can discover random topics random items uh, when you discover something you know you can mark it as want to learn there's no accounts there's no user account there's no server in fact right so th this uh, bookmark remain in your browser uh, and you know you can discover them very easily so i'll so one key idea in uh, this architecture was that we separate ideas that you want to learn or you need to learn from the media that they are expressed in right and by doing that we can link multiple media expressing the same idea and i'll show you an example of that right so you might have heard about sapiens right sapiens is a great book on sort of a anthropology history of human kind right in learn awesome when you go to sapiens you will find that the same material is available as a book as a video as a audio there's a summary somebody has somebody has written right so multiple media types and links to them have been collected under a single entity right so when you say sapiens you can discover okay the author has actually given a ted talk and i can maybe i prefer that right maybe i only have time for reading a summary so i can i can discover that so that's one of the sort of a key value that you know i felt was something that google doesn't do a good job of it uh, nobody else does right wikipedia doesn't do a good job of it right so this was uh, one of the uh, benefit and then recently what we have started doing is sort of now some topics have so many resources that you need a very curated sort of a path right a learning road map so yeah you can we have start added this feature where you know uh, programming in golang it gives you a path like you okay, can you let's say you might have learned basic syntax you know these are the links that you can visit to learn it and then you can mark it done and you know you can take this path and it will take you to you know uh, certain sequences which that that community has uh, deemed uh, valuable so for example if you want to go uh, learn about go modules there are some things here some links here that you can use so this is a very very uh, new feature but uh, the idea was that on on certain topics you know the number of resources will be actually quite huge and it um, is not uh, sort of a, it, it is intimidating for the user right so these are the main features you can search uh, there is no user accounts it's all completely running in a single page app uh, and yeah you have bookmarks you can discover the right material uh now this is only a beginning of the solution right uh, we are just creating a catalog and we are just extracting rich metadata uh, at this point so yeah this is our sort of a underlying domain model so we have separated ideas from items uh, we track we try to populate uh, data about who is the person who created that um, sort of a 
set of ideas and you know uh, set of materials reviews can come in we can uh, track reviews so you can see that okay sapiens is good because let's say bill gates has uh, spoken highly about it right um, and then uh, you can will be able to track eventually this book has uh, recommended that other course right or this refers to that uh, sort of video right so we can create that sort of a graph uh, recommendation graph the idea is to find the right uh, the best quality material right so this is um, our domain model essentially so that's a quick demo uh, of course there are a lot of open problems to solve right but like before that i want to just just tell you about my personal uh, way of thinking about when to build something open source or something when to build something at all right so i have a, a sort of a framework where i want at least two of two out of four reasons uh, to build anything right i want it others want it uh, i get to learn something while making it and it's fun right so uh, in learn or some that many of this uh, came out to be right i want i wanted it i it was fun for me i always picked the technology stack that uh, let me to learn something new and i believe that others will also want it uh, so we'll see how that goes but uh, that's my framework for deciding you know why why make something why Uh, you know uh, create something new rather than you know uh, just use whatever is available uh, it's not an isolated project so there are other projects which are sort of in the same space so for example i i was a big user of goodreads goodreads is uh, a sort of a social network around book readers and that's when you know i realized two things one uh, i wanted to move away from books to all media types in general because i realized that i was learning from games and i was learning from videos and courses so that was one generation and then my focus was on non fiction more than fiction right so book reading can be entertaining activity and i am not saying that it is not valuable but uh, learning may not always be entertaining right so there are goals that you need to meet uh, so that was one of the sort of a reason why i moved out from goodreads but internet archive has a project called open library they are trying to build a catalog for every single book and you know uh, learnosm has some integration with them so you know uh, we don't uh, duplicate each other's work uh, so yeah we we delegate uh, identifiers and some of this metadata to open library like covers and uh, editions and all of that there is a project called open syllabus what they do is uh, across all the universities of the world and you know the, all the curriculums that is being followed they track which book is part of which course so it becomes possible for us to know okay how many times uh, like how popular is this um, this particular book so again this is a uh, book focused uh, this is university focused academia focused uh, but yeah that's a related project and then there have been other open source attempts uh, like learn anything um, and they were they started out the same thing they wanted the community to to upvote and downvote each uh, link each material uh, and you know have this, have this sort of a navigable google map folder right so that's the idea we want to create a map for learning right now we are not in a position where we have a deep profile of the user so that we can do recommendation and matching but we can at least create a map of map of knowledge map of human uh, human knowledge and human learning right so okay the, what are the things to learn how are they organized what are the best materials for that right? uh how it happened so yeah i built this as a server side render ruby on rails app the idea was that all our pages will be public we'll get some benefit of seo and you know uh, google will get to crawl that did happen uh, and there are some interesting problem statements here which are still continue to you know we will we'll need to work on them right so for example when a user enters a link can we automatically extract what topics it belongs to what format does is it talking about have we already uh, do we ha- already have that item in another, another media type in our catalog Uh, so we need to do de- deduplication we need to do topic modeling right uh, another experiment that i did was you know we made this once we had server side app uh, up and running we implemented activity pub so this became like a activity pub uh, server sort of server and every topic every user every uh, sort of a, yeah uh, they become actors so they can have their own feeds which others can subscribe to right so if you have a mastodon account you can follow my views on learn also right uh, and you don't have to follow me only you can even follow a topic so for example if you are interested in let's say uh, vaccination for corona covid 19 you can subscribe to that topic and anytime something new gets posted that actor will post right so it had that implementation for now uh, it is uh, it has been disabled but yeah we did that experiment uh, there there was a browser extension so that when you are reading something on the web you can quickly add it to your learner some account and you can extract like you can do a space repetition recall experiments 
the challenge there was you know uh, ruby on rails has become a bit outdated uh, and it's not easy for people to contribute to right because uh, there's a bunch of moving pieces there's redis and there's uh, background jobs and that and the ui still have to be, be built with html and javascript uh, and then so we i ended up rewriting the whole thing as a single page app in swell js now there is no server component uh, there are no server based user accounts uh, all the data uh is uh, currently stored in json files uh, as a json line format but we did a bunch of experiments around you know postgres sqlite json line and this is an important question right where does the source of truth live how is it uh, modified so for example where does the data enrichment pipeline run the where is a sort of a master version of the catalog right so yeah there are interesting questions to think about and i'll give you an example of this let's say so how to organize topics right that's a, a simple enough uh, question but um, it's not a easy question right so if you think about how topics should be related to each other you know we've gone through many iterations this is how um, class central organized they have a hierarchy which is very similar to academic uh, university department like hierarchy right this is not even close to what we, like the, the vastness of knowledge that humanity has generated right uh, we need we thought about uh, having two sort of edges you know topics can have prerequisites and subtopics uh, there are ideas like concept actually create model different types of edges uh, we went with the hierarchy which uh, every topic can have up to two parents like think about this question data science and machine learning and statistics right are they individual topics probably not right but why is it that when you when you say machine learning it becomes a computer science topic but when you say statistics it becomes a mathematics topic right and data sort of a business kind of a topic right uh or that analytics but there are strong overlaps and we want to expose those overlaps right so it's not easy question uh it's like uh, creating a taxonomy or creating an ontology so, yeah so there's a lot of uh, things to work on i can give you a code walkthrough very quick uh let's see so as as i said down this is a single page pure javascript app there is no server there is no database uh, on the in the cloud uh, everything lives in src all the files all the catalog is in db in json files um, in terms of what an each item looks like it's you know we have name uh, a bunch of links tagged with the media type uh, we have topics creators and the reviews for that item right so reviews we get to know okay bill gates has said this about this item right so this is the basic schema uh, of course we have a list of creators a uh, lot of experts that we have uh, uh, reviews has been now combined into you know items and then we have the topics uh, hierarchy where we say hey electronics engineering is a subtopic of uh, engineering right so this is how the hierarchy is model so all this database um, uh, is in just json file which are loaded in your tab right it's not a very big database it's about uh, 20000 uh, items as of now uh, 3000 topics or so but it will grow and we want to make it more and more rich right so for example when you go to items it should be possible for you to have tags which says hey is this free or paid uh, is this an open educational resource or not right so teachers can you know they can filter things and find material right so yeah that's how it's evolving so yeah all the data is in json files it, they, it gets loaded here and then we have a bunch of swelt components so for example you can just see okay what happens when i visit an item right so it's just a swelt component um, fairly pleasant experience for building an interactive uh, front end right uh, we get to abstract a lot out with the cards uh, components and you know yeah beyond that i mean it's just um, i use a web component library called shoelace uh, and yeah it's been um, good fun to work on so that's the code walkthrough uh, and yeah so in terms of open problems uh, we want to automate as much as possible right and the reason is it's not feasible for just me to do all the data collection and all the data enrichment right at the same time who does the curation because the i in the earlier version it was open for user contribution people could uh, add data and what happened was you know only spammers and promoters and you know marketers showed up so you have to like balance it with the uh, so uh, reality that okay if, if if a catalog is there which is valuable people will have an incentive to put things in that catalog which are let's say not worthy of 
that reputation right that's it's a ranking problem that's the reason why colleges will give money to a ranking uh, uh, sort of a company to get in top 10 or top 20 list right it's with, without achieving that quality so that's always there, right so you need to balance it uh, it's not an easy problem there are so many things to sort of um, you can try like you can make it a right now the curation is so expensive in terms of effort that it takes that, you know, there are multiple uh, ideas that we need, we probably want to explore, right? Maybe it needs to be a Wikipedia style thing uh, where there's a hierarchy, but then again, how do we bootstrap that hierarchy? Uh, we also want to do a lot of uh, personalization, right? Uh, so for example, you should be able to say, hey, I'm this is what I know. This is this is my current level for this topic. And then that's where I want to be. Uh, you know, we can build a sort of a, a more uh, game-like interface uh, uh, we want to be able to collect more expert reviews so that, you know, when you look at them, you know, okay, Hacker News speaks highly of this book, right? Or, um, yeah, the people that I like, you know, they tend to not like this book, right? So, yeah, I mean, we we have to do some sort of a objective uh, approach here because reviews are only valuable for the first five or ten times. They are not valuable uh the 100 review the 200 review is not that valuable right so we, again uh, these are all the open problems uh, for this project project so yeah that's sort of a gist of uh, where we are uh, this is the project repository and we are like i'm very welcoming of contributions uh, i've thought about a lot of these problems but i'm happy to hear uh, new ideas new way of doing things and yeah this is essentially a google scale or wikipedia scale project so we need uh, like as much help as we can get but yeah i have a few opinions here uh, so uh, let's see uh, let, let's begin with conversations rather than immediately you know, beginning with code so yeah i'll conclude my talk here uh, thank you so much for listening <laughs>